love updates in Call of Dragons, and this one is a big one coming on the 21st. So stick around in this video to find out all the information that you need. Let's get it. Welcome back to CO Gaming, and today we are going over these patch notes for this update that is coming on the 21st. Man, it's super exciting, and there is a lot of great things in this update that needs to be talked about. So let's just dive right into these. So this is going to start off with update 1.0.19, the Grand Jubilee, coming on the 21st. So let's just kind of jump in this. It starts off by saying, it's your old pal Kella here, making my way through the blizzards of Valerium. To bring you the latest news, version 1.0.19, the Grand Jubilee, will be released on 9-21 of 23. Make sure you go grab it as soon as you can. As always, I noted down all the no new content myself. Looks like it's going to be a real brainstormer. Don't miss your chance to make a fortune. I mean, to save the world. So, jumping right into these patch notes we're going to start off with it looks like we're getting a colorful garden party holiday event eight days of the event and join in on the fun and celebrate with the children of abby coming in next we're going to be talking about this lucky ball machine uh, looks like it is join the event to earn lucky coins and gain rewards from a lucky ball machine super excited to see exactly what this is uh, it sounds to me like there's going to be something to do with, you know, a lucky ball machine. But you're going to be able to get tokens and I would say kind of a lot like a wheel, but not a wheel. I, I don't know. It's going to be really interesting to see exactly how this they do this event. Uh, next up, we have the Great Heights, Survive Polaris Trails, and Ascend to Peak to win a new city theme. That's super exciting. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for those new skins to come out. So that's some good information to have. Really going to enjoy that one. Uh, everything must go. An array of discounts, surprises, and exceptional bargains await you. Uh, sounds like there's going to be some pretty good deals coming. We'll see how that goes. Looks like we get a society quiz. Put your knowledge to the test and win rewards prepared by Valen. Uh, yeah, of course, gonna be gonna be gotta be smart to solve Valen stuff, right? Uh, Celestial battlegrounds. We've already know about this. We've done this before. Uh, and then bounty hunt. Fight bravely to reclaim the Merchant's Guild's lost goods. Four event times. Check the event calendar. For so example. So, exciting new stories. The Dwarven Civil War has ended. No peace remains out of reach. A dark plot is about to be uncovered. Season stories, Chapter 3, The Mountains, My Witness, and Chapter 4, The Door of Tomorrow, will soon be available. So that's pretty cool. As Season 2, The Icebound Oath draws to a close, the event will begin once the Augur Stone progresses to a certain point. Players in Season 2 can contribute to resources to rebuild the Gate of Promises, opening the door to the next season. The fate of the World Tree is in your hands. This, to me, sounds like we are going to be getting a new map for Season 3. Uh, it's you know, definitely not confirmed or anything, but that sounds like that's going to going to push us into season three with the new map so that's super exciting really kind of looking forward to that uh a lot of people that have just started season two still have a lot to learn with this map uh, but it will be nice to get another map in the next season and continue to move forward in the game uh pushing on an even richer combat experience so these next couple kind of go through <clears throat> some changes that are being made basically improved combat behavior for rallied armies um pretty much incepted or intercepted and attacked while marching. Uh, they attack enemies within range, but will not pursue them, improve the appearance of certain legion types. Just the different legion types uh, are now clearly distinguishable. Uh, and then it looks like we did updated beast spawn zones. Level 25 beasts are unlocked. They will appear in all spawn zones on the world map. That's super exciting that they're not only in the, you know, course zone three and zone five uh change the cease fire effect the great revival which will now uh instead of being i think it's like two three days now it's going to be longer it's not specified how long but it definitely is being increased uh and then a smoother route of prosperity 
Since War Pets were added to the game, we've received plenty of passionate and proactive feedback from players. In response, we've made a number of improvements to the system. So the first improvement that has been made is the War Pets are now guaranteed to be either Epic or Legendary after a certain number of regenerations, which means they've put a pity system into the regenerations for that. Um, this number will be displayed in the regeneration page. A pop-up will appear to confirm your choice when you choose to regenerate after receiving an Epic or Legendary War Pet, so you can avoid accidentally losing them. Uh, improved Merit Store, a regeneration potion will be added to the Merit Store every day, and a new War Pet skill card will be added every week. The daily and weekly Merit Store will offer more valuable items and rare War Pet cards as the Augur Stone progresses, so the further you go through your season, you're going to get better cards. That's pretty nifty. I kind of like how they do that. Uh, updated Crystal Store, items on sale from the Crystal Store have been updated. All items apart from the Legendary Hero tokens have been changed into the large quantities of valuable 3-star War Pet skill cards. That's that's super exciting, so there's our 3-star War Pets. Uh, improved icons for War Pet talents, improved scout reports, uh, now justify uh, artifacts and War Pets that are equipped by your heroes. Improved Garrison Hero information. War pets equipped by Garrison Heroes are now shown on the Garrison screen. That's pretty cool. Improved War Pets information. Source of, sources of regeneration potions are now shown on the regeneration screen. Animation effects are now displayed on a skill screen. When your War Pet learns a new skill, the War Pet training screen now shows your War Pet's calculated attributes. The War Pet Enclosure Expansion screen now shows items you currently have and how many you require. So a lot, a lot of War Pet updates and being able to get certain things. You know, your skill cards from the Merit Store, the Regeneration Potions instead of being the Weekly, will be now added to the Daily, which is super exciting, being able to buy those every day. Just another source of being able to get those items that we haven't been able to you know, get but a small quantity of, quantity of every day. That's pretty pretty nifty. I do like that. Uh, more enjoyable events. Adjust the Dragon Trail rankings and rewards. Only players who have completed uh, event quests will be displayed in the rankings and receive rewards. That's that's pretty, you know, whatever, really, honestly. Uh, new custom mode for Lucky Spin and Strongest Sword events. This is a crazy one, and I'm, I'm super excited to see how this is actually going to work. But I do think, let's keep this in mind, that if you're able to pick your own Strongest Lord hero to put in there people the, these points totals are going to be insane and i'm going to show you what my server looks like at this exact moment uh when we're done with this just so you can see like what i think this is actually going to turn out to be but it says you can now choose your hero you want as a reward for these events this mode is only enabled at the end of the season see event details for opening times so it sounds to me like it's going to be those last couple events uh, that's, you know, I, I think that's good. You keep, you keep the progression throughout the season for the, like new commanders, new heroes and things moving forward. And then, you know, at the end of seasons, when you've pretty much covered the new heroes that come out from season to season for as long as we're getting them, you know, then at the end of it, you can choose your own hero for like, you know, lucky spin. I think that's amazing because not every lucky spin that comes out, you're going to need that. You know, a lot of, a lot of us have most of these heroes maxed out. So that is a very good thing. Uh, for Strongest Lord, that one I'm not so sure about. I think people are, you know, depending on what the selection actually is, if you can choose anything, uh, people are going to go absolute ham and do everything in their power to score as many points as they can just to make sure they win that particular Strongest Lord. So those are going to be interesting events for sure. Other improvements being made, improved recommendations for deploying Gathering Legions. You can now choose to prioritize transport units, uh, which will recommend transport units, or prioritize your load capacity, which will recommend a Legion with the highest possible load capacity. Uh, community integration, looks like you're going to be able to directly enter community pages via a notice board in your city. New messages for community pages will also be displayed on the notice board. Uh, new optimization for your Exploration experience, basically, as you, you know, dispel the mist from your zone ones, then you can do your adjacents. Once you have those, your adjacent zones done, then you can 
move on through your passes and continue to do this, so on and so forth, until you have all of it done. So that's really nice that it's not attached to an auger stone anymore. That's going to just make things a lot easier because it's pretty annoying not being able to, you know, see the map until like five, six, seven, you know, days longer than that, really. It's it's like it maybe like 15 auger stone objectives before you can do it. So that's really nice. I do like that. Uh, other than that, pretty much everything else is just PC improvements. Uh, added a sound, sound toggle for opening animation, improved chat, so on and so forth. If you play on a PC, these are kind of important for you. Uh, but nothing major, no major change. But that pretty much wraps this up. Uh, that is pretty much the patch notes. I think there's a lot of really good things in this new patch. Uh, I think it's one of the better, definitely one of the better updates uh, that they've done. They took the player's feedback and really put that into this update, especially with the war pets. Uh, I think the most new ex exciting feature for this is going to be the custom mode for Lucky Spin and Strongest Lords. I think that's going to cause a lot of crazy crazy things at the end of seasons when it comes to points and truth be told when everybody's just trying to be dead it's gonna bring people back to the game just so they can come spend that hard-earned cash but as i said earlier before we wrap this up this is what i'm talking about with the strongest lord so you see these points right this is nuts this dude literally like he's been sitting at 178 million points i don't know for like 15 minutes into the event and you know we i hate to see what these numbers are like tomorrow because i know you know I got a guy in my group that's over a hundred mil and I know he ain't just going to let this, you know, go away that easy. So it, it's going to be interesting to see some of these, uh, crazy, crazy numbers for a, you know, a strongest Lord event that you can choose your own hero. So that's just nuts. That being said, we're going to wrap this video up. So as always, just make sure you hit that like button, smash it punch down on it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content, but until next time, see you out.